Pilar, can you do a video on how to do a video pin? Of course I can, and thank you for the question. Now I'm gonna share with you how I do my video pins to drive traffic to my blog and to my YouTube channel. Now everyone does this a bit different, but I'm gonna share with you how I add my subtitles, how I do a bit of my recording, and then you'll be able to see exactly how I create a brand new pin right now in this video. So there are various types of short videos that you can create for your video pins, and it really comes down to what you're trying to accomplish with your business. So for example, the video you're watching on your screen right now, I am sharing a process because I'm showing an app that I use that I also affiliate for. And the end goal is for people to download this app with my affiliate code. Then there are other short form videos you can create to help you build brand awareness and to keep you top of mind for when people are ready to make a purchase for a particular product or service that they remember your business because they see you all the time on Pinterest. Then there are teaser type of videos like the one you're seeing on your screen right now. Now this gives your audience just enough information to pique their interest, enough for them to click over to your longer form content. Now I like to use these videos to get more views on my YouTube channel. I am YouTube monetized over there. So I do get paid for my views. And I also like to use these videos to drive traffic over to my blog. Now that is where people can click on my affiliate links, purchase digital products and where I can make money online. And let's not forget one of my favorite type of videos to create, which is product reviews. Now, if you do have a business account on Pinterest, then you most likely have access to pin affiliate links on your video pins. So if you are an Amazon associate or an Amazon influencer, then you can create a short form video product review of an Amazon product and then link your Amazon affiliate link and then earn affiliate commissions when people purchase through your affiliate link. This is the mic that I plug into my iPhone to record my audio for my voiceovers. It's better than the built-in mic that is on your phone. It just helps your voice sound a bit more crisp, a bit more clear. And then the windshield that is on the mic just helps to eliminate any of the surrounding noise. Now I will place a link underneath this video for where you can find the product on Amazon. Now there is a version for Android users as well. I'll do my best to find that and put the link underneath this video. Okay, I did say I was gonna show you how I do this, which is a bit different than what a lot of people do. Now, a lot of people use CapCut. I actually use Camtasia because I've been using this for years. So I normally will pick up my iPhone, I insert my mic and I record the full audio for the short form video that I'm about to create. Then I import it into Camtasia. So most all editors work in a similar manner. You can just move the audio into your track and then you can adjust the audio if you want. And as you can see here, I'm just adjusting it to be a little bit louder. Now I would recommend getting on camera as much as possible to record your short form videos. That's just going to allow you to have a better connection with your audience. But another alternative is to use stock footage. Now I use stock footage from Storyblocks. I import it into Camtasia whenever I need either filler footage or if I just don't want to get on camera that day. And then I adjust the footage to make sure it looks good and it fits into the dimensions of the short form video. Now for this short form video, I'm creating something for my Pogo app review on YouTube. I want to send traffic over to my longer form video where I will earn monetization income. So I'm creating a teaser video here to get people interested in the Pogo app and then to send them over to my long form YouTube video. Now I find these videos easier to do because when I am showing someone how to use an app, all I do is I turn on my iPhone and I hit that screen record button and then I simply start filming me using the app. So that is exactly what I did here. And then in the editing within Camtasia, all I did was cut out any sensitive or personal information. And then I just made the video 28 seconds just because it's enough to give them a good teaser, but I really want them to head over to YouTube where they can see the full video. Now you want to add captions to your video because that is going to increase the amount of people who watch your video and watch it all the way through. Now, sometimes I will add subtitles on my videos on Camtasia, but other times I will use a tool. Now you can use Submagic to upload your short form video. It will automatically dub the captions onto your video. It will add emojis to it. Now, if you are using CapCut, you can do this for free, but it will just take you a little bit of time. And if you're doing lots of videos, then it's going to take you a lot of time. Now this video 
video is not sponsored, but the guys at Submagic did give me a discount code that I can share with you. I will leave that code in the descriptions of this YouTube video. Simply insert it at checkout for a special discount on Submagic. Now I have already been using another AI tool for creating short form videos from my long form YouTube content. Now that is called Opus Pro. Now Opus Pro will also add captions to your videos. And even though it's meant for long form content, you can actually upload short form content and get the captions on your videos. So that's exactly what I did here. I uploaded my short form video pin onto Opus Pro and it did produce the captions same way as Submagic does. All right, so now that you have your video pin created, it is time to upload it onto Pinterest. So this is the easier part now because Pinterest has combined all pins into one pinning method. So whether you're pinning a static pin or whether you're pinning a video pin, it's all going to be done in the same way. Now, if you are on desktop, you can simply look for the plus sign, which is normally on the right hand side, somewhere further down. Same thing is going to be the case if you're doing this on mobile. The plus sign will be in the middle of the screen at the bottom. Hit that button and then go ahead and start creating your pin. You can upload your video pin to any board that you see fit. Now you do want to have SEO in mind. Now this video doesn't go over SEO, but there will be some information down below in the YouTube descriptions if you want help with that. Now, once you upload your video pin, you need to give it a catchy title. You want to make sure that people are going to click over to your video. Now I go back and forth between doing an SEO based title as well as catchy titles. This is just me trying to experiment and see what works best for me. It's really a 50 50 at this point you want to give it a then a description then you want to add relevant tags now tags there are not so many uh good tags on pinterest in my opinion so do the best you can with finding relevant tags then go ahead and add the link to wherever you want to send people now originally i had said i was going to send people over to youtube but in the process of recording this video, I sent people over to my blog post instead. Either way, it's fine. It both talks about Pogo. Um, and then that was it. Then you can go ahead, you can publish it, you can schedule it for another day, and then you have your video pin. So your video pin is going to drive traffic to your digital products, to your blog, to your YouTube channel, anything you want to send traffic to. And that's it. That's how I create and post my video pins on YouTube. Now, understandably, this is not easy for everyone to do. So if you are looking for an agency to help you create short form videos, there is one that I do recommend and have used in the past. Again, it will be down below in the descriptions of this YouTube video. Otherwise, guys, please do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more information like this, and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.